good morning guys so welcome to holiday monday it's my favorite day it's the real start of the summer here in canada and i'm excited for summer and the last two days have been so scorching hot definitely feels like summer poor little posy can't come outside today because she just gets burned oh my gosh one of the guineas keeps attacking sophie's rooster and he's terrified i hate that Grab that guinea. Okay, you will have my rooster. Yeah, it's okay. You can come out the front here, dude. Did you guys hear him? He's just screaming. Yesterday he got attacked. And that guinea just chases him around like crazy. Hey, bud. It's okay, but he's gonna need food and water out here. There's a couple of girls out here for you. Ellie, get your head out of his butt. Not really into yet. We just They just hatched. But turkeys, guineas, and pigs, those are the three animals that we tried this season. We haven't even really got into the season yet, but the hardest one are pigs. They're so hard. <laughs> How do you even have a farm animal that can't be in the sun because it gets sunburned? Like I put sunscreen on her every single morning when I let her outside, she still gets a sunburn. Oh, put it in here. Everywhere. Put it in here. And a chicken leg. So eggs are everywhere. They don't know where to lay. They don't know where to lay. Anyway, the worst animal that we tried this season are guineas i hate them i thought i would love them i love the sound that they make i love that they're noisy i don't care that they're dumb but now they're mean and they they're they're not they're like a wild bird so it's like taming a wild bird that they always disappear they always run off like that's their their job is to like oh is to eat bugs so all they do is spend their time running around trying to eat bugs and they like increase their perimeter all the time Eventually they're just gone and then they don't come back. So I think we can scratch guineas off our list, you guys. Look, Sophie has a rose already. Do you guys see it right there, a little bud? Already one little rose is coming. The pig just tried to eat her plant. Come on, Posey. <laughs> you gotta go in. Come on. Come on, leave her alone. Aww. She's going to eat it again. Apparently rose bushes are fun for pigs. Come on, Piggy, come on. Come on, Piggy, come on. You have to go in because you get sunburned too easy. So today I have a few more things that I have to plant. It's just lettuce and onions. So I got a lot of milk milking this morning. I love milking still. I love the milk. I'm addicted to the milk. I can't stop drinking the milk. Like it is life. Raw goat milk is life. So I'm gonna come back in a few minutes and I'm gonna plant those. And then I'm gonna to have to water my garden somehow because suddenly I planted my garden and it stopped raining. Actually, it's so much colder in the barn today. Anyway, Sam was out here early this morning. Oh, I love it. Why can't we use this as an outdoor? No, honestly, like if we had it made into an outdoor, do you guys see? He scraped it for me. I like it. People have suggested that we use it before. We took this out of here. I mean, this thing is in the middle. That's annoying. But. I know, but we could just literally just have it done. Like have somebody do it so that it's, so that it's level and stable. We have a chicken in here. I love it though, he did such a good job. So he basically just scraped all the like poop and all the stuff out so that even if it rains, they won't be standing in any kind of mud. Luckily for us, this farm, this area is new for horses to be standing. They've never had like a ton of mud. I noticed that he probably couldn't get this area over here though because um, it's probably hard for him to get his tractor because there's still like a little really nice though I don't know vote in the comments below what do you guys think about using this as a as a temporary kind of arena I love it I, I'm gonna check into that and see if that would work for us because then we wouldn't have to dig up anything okay you gotta do a trick spin Good girl. She looks really good. Is this strawberry? 
So we brought all of our extra strawberries out. Sam washed all the water troughs this weekend. I didn't video it. I love it. Yeah. Everybody only gets one. <laughs> I love the way they look at us. Here, give me one for Penny. Because she's gonna definitely come to me. Look at how shiny she looks. Her and Storm Here. be looking so shiny. I feel like Sophie gave me the worst strawberry for Penny. Here, Pen. Come here, come to me. Here, Pen. I'm right here. Why is your mask all wonky again? Are you letting a boy play with your head? Because that's what was happening yesterday. Oh. You like it. She loves it. Storm doesn't? Well, that's a surprise. I only had one. I only have one, ladies. They got to be dying of heat, man. Penny, you be looking chunkier. How did that happen? She was looking really good yesterday. And then poof. My horse spit it out. My horse spit it out? Oh, Penny. I don't have anything else. I just only had a strawberry. Penny. <laughs> so he's like, how dare you waste Eat a strawberry? It. Eat it. <laughs> Aw, she does like it. No, she doesn't. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> she I know hates, you like them. Maybe they're poisonous for horses. We should have looked. Else eat them. Well, not everybody's smart like Penny. <laughs> I like to say that stuff because nobody likes my horse. It's like, you know that thing where one person's like, oh, I love my horse so much. She's so fabulous. And then everybody else is like offended and they're like, oh my gosh, stop bragging about your horse. Well, that's what they do. They're like, whenever I say she's amazing, they tell me she's not. We're going to Timmy's. You're going, they're going to Timmy's? Yeah. Well, can you wait, come down to the goats with us for five seconds? Okay, we'll hurry. Penny pees in the same spot every day. I'm trying to like fill it in with nice sand. Actually, I was thinking we should put the, po we, sh we should put the horses. He doesn't like strawberries. Neither does Penny, apparently. The one food. He likes the, the cantaloupe stuff. All right, well, I'm and growing. The green stuff. I'm growing cantaloupe, so. We'll have a lot for him. And he likes the green stuff. The green stuff. They are looking at chunky monkeys. Honey. honey looks fit. Look at, do you think, Gabby, do you think we could use this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, I got ripped off. You gave me a gross treat. I'll be back with carrots, okay? Do you think we could use this for an outdoor if we leveled it? It's not huge, but it would do our, what? Did you plant carrots? Yeah, a lot. Did you plant pumpkins? Yeah. Okay, because I thought you planted both of those, but I wasn't sure. I planted everything. Fine. Run! <laughs> oh my gosh. What do you guys think about this nice ground here? <laughs> They're like, who cares, Laura? We don't care about dirt. But if you're a farmer, you care about dirt. Something about Sam and I that you might not know is before we became farmers, we did a lot of gardening, like a lot of gardening. We had massive gardens. We've grown everything. And we used to be experts on dirt <laughs> hi guys oh the goats are not eating the grass That's a Lola. it's really rude <laughs> lola we have a treat for you so i discovered this morning when i was milking that oh, lola i don't think you can eat all that lola loves strawberries she's really picky like storm she loves strawberries you do blossom likes everything there's nothing that i tried him this morning hold this Give Tilly one or Mocha one because they gave me a lot of milk today. Oh, look it. Sophie, give it to her. She never climbs up on me, ever. She loves them so much. Like, I've never hey. seen her ever be that excited. She never gets excited about anything. She's not letting that drop. She's like, she's obsessed with it. She loves it. The babies don't really get into food yet. They're still not that interested, but little Lola loves it. The goats are not gonna eat all this grass. It's just gonna go to weed because that's what happens when you leave it. So I'm thinking that I'm gonna bring the horses down and let them eat all this stuff. Molly finally gets to go with Gabby. She always wants to go when Gabby goes to school. Drive careful. See you in a little bit. Almost 80 degrees and it's early guys. It is, oh, it's actually only one o'clock. Sam says it's not good to make the outdoor arena in that area. He says it's just way too small. Hi, Storm. <laughs> I really think Storm is misunderstood. I really think people, he just doesn't understand all these girls. But look at that, can you guys see that? 
Sam left all this old hay out here in this bucket that Penny wouldn't eat and it's all growing fresh hay. Like that's pretty cool actually. Can you guys see it? That is cool. I should water it. Storm and Sophie's horse will be competing for the arena or for this area, the barn. Both of them hate the sun. So today I want to tackle this thing. I want to wash a bunch of things like everything has dirt and dust on it. Oops. So I'm just going to wipe everything down and then clean it up, organize it a little bit and get it all set up for the season. I also want to organize this tack trunk because I have like a lot of our products and stuff that I keep in here for horse shows. So I want to organize that, see what I need so I can know what I can, I need to get at the tack store. Because once Sophie gets her horse, you guys know, she'll be going shopping at the tack store. That's her. She already picked out her Lemieux bridle that she wants for her. All right, so this is where I've got. <laughs> the water is disgusting. I have to go take it out and get fresh water. Um, all that stuff has to get either thrown out or put in the wash. I found a lot of like saddle waxes that we got over the years, like different scents and all different ones. They're all dried out. So I'm going to just get rid of those. I'm going to wash Sophie's ribbons and pack them away in plastic so that they stay clean. I'm going to organize this thing. I'm going to this is our leather punch. When we first got horses, we bought everything you could ever think of. Sophie's grooming kit, another bag of brushes. I don't even know why that's in here. A first aid kit, actually. I'm gonna put it in here. We have all our like standing wraps. Oh, here they are. I have like, we have, um, what are these called? Cottons? These are not cottons, but we have cottons. And we have, oh, I have a bag of baggies in here. Um, these are all like our therapeutic boots. Somebody was so kind last year and sent us these easy, let's see, what are they called? These cloud boots. Uh, we're so grateful for those. We are saving those for emergencies and they probably fit Sophie's new horse. Maybe the her, she's got big feet. Um, and then we have like our boots for abscesses and stuff. And I have standing wraps. I have like two sets of standing wraps. Chino used all this stuff. Like the whole time we had him, he was such a fussy horse. He needed all this stuff. The other ones were pink. And I don't know why, but there were only two in this package here. So I definitely want to keep all of those things together. One thing about me is that I really like to share with people like Elizabeth came a couple weeks ago. Her horse is kind of fussy too. Like Chino, not as bad as Chino, but he's a little bit fussy. And we lent her a bunch of stuff. We're like, here, try this, try this, try this. Why don't you use this? Because it gets expensive when you're trying to provide for a fussy horse. The one thing that I actually do love is this stuff, leather better. I've seen it around still. And it literally, I put this like on leather furniture. It, it like, it, this restores leather like you've never seen before. I put this on our furniture all the time. Um, I have it for saddles. We've never really used it on our saddles because we only use the brand that that is meant for our saddles. I use this on my Western saddle though. And we have a ton of it. All of these things have to be washed. All of our sponges. I found another fly mask. Who remembers who this fly mask belonged to? It's gonna either go to Penny or Sophie's new horse after I wash it. Oh, are you guys gonna go for a ride with me? What if you ride in the field with the shelter? That way I could just throw a random Western saddle on Storm and just chill. Why can't we, why can't you ride in a Western saddle down the trail with me? He will kill me. If you're wearing, riding Western, he might like it. No, he won't. He, do, it doesn't, he doesn't discriminate no matter what. He will kill anyone except for a little kid. Only <laughs> because he is wild on the trail. He spooked out a mailbox when I was riding him one time. He doesn't care about mailboxes at all. Literally. I know, but. We passed. 18 of them. The least scariest one, he goes, holy crap, what the hell is that? I know, but like, but in the field, he just wants to eat the grass and he gets mad that you're after him not to eat the grass, right? I love your outfit. All my other clothes are in the wash. 
Oh. <laughs> Anyways, can we wait till it cools down a little bit? No. Why can't we just right now? Because I'm wearing shorts and I'm in the middle of this. Well, hurry up. All right. So I just came inside to get changed because I'm going for a horse ride and Sam has like this big haul. We got these waterers we're gonna try. They're for the, you just get a bucket. For the chickens. Water. And I guess they fill them with water till they fill up. Yeah, so those are cool. How many did it come with? Four, six? Uh, five. Five, all right. So that will be his, his plan for today. Then light bulb for the goat barn because the one is dying. Red. Right. Now, yeah, they only last about six months, but There's for the price. I'm going to try and pick them. How about more light bulbs? More light bulbs. Are they for the goat barn or the? Yeah, for the goat barn. Okay, no and more. And I bought a strainer. So this is I fancy. I love it. I love it. I'm just uh, a little strainer inside this thing. It's a milk strainer. So I can put that on top of my mason jars. It's super cool. So I wanted one like this. I wanted one like this, but the one that I wanted has like a removable or has like a throw away. It has a disposable filter. So the filter just fits in the bottom and it's disposable. But that kind of filter stops a lot of the cream from going through. So I don't like it. So I wanted one like this. So I love it. So you just put this in your bottle, put the milk in here and it goes in. It's going to be amazing. I'm super paranoid about how I, um, filter my milk so i'll love it thank you i got one of these things metal cages together they're like metal clips i always wanted one because i'm using zip ties where i could use this what what metal cages do we have well you know how you use zip ties yeah to zip tie everything yeah these are metal clips they come oh. like this oh, okay i think i know what you're and they're like about. special pliers Okay. They come like this with special pliers and they come Every farmer them. should have one, guys. Every I mean, farmer. You can buy these on Amazon, but on Timu they're cheaper. So How much was it? I think it was like $8. Wow, that's so good. And it looks heavy duty. Yeah, well, we'll see if it works. So does my filter look heavy duty. Okay. And I bought, uh, I need some car holders. I don't know what I needed for like your van. So Cause my cell phone holder? Cell phone holder falls off every time I use it. So Let's I got see that one, one for my truck and I got one for the van and the cup holder. I hate the ones that suction cup though. Well, once they're on there, they're on there pretty good. Oh, all right, that's cool. And then he bought these power bars because what? they sit, just wait, they sit flat, flush to the wall and the ones that, the plugs that are plugged in behind our couch keep unplugging and we have to keep pulling the couch out. And so he got those. I'm gonna maybe use one of these for my chicken brooder. Also bought this uh, little pump. I wanted to try it out. See if I can use it Let's for see. water. It's a diesel pump, but it's it's for like gas. But I want to try and see if it would work for water. It's like a diesel pump. It's for transferring gas and diesel, but I want to try and use it for water. Forgot some I forgot stuff. I also got this. Two of these. On my, remember I bought the thing to go on top of my water. He has a big water basin outside that yeah. fills up with rainwater and we use to like water stuff. I want to get dirt. So stuff. it has an open lid. So he wants to put this on it so no little animals can get Pretty in, big. no dirt, no stuff. And he also got this. It's actually it's cute. It's like, I don't love the color of it. It doesn't look that color in. You tried to match the chair? Yeah, but they didn't have a light bulb. Anyway, it still looks darker in, in real life than it does in the camera, but it's just like a cover that goes over the chair, keep it clean. But the girls want to go for a horseback ride, and who am I to say no to that? I'm not going to say no, so I'm going to go, go. So I'm going to go get changed and get ready. I kind of wanted to go a little later in the day because I wanted to finish planting my garden. I wanted to finish what I was doing. wanted to get some sun on my legs, but whatever. I'm going to go get changed, and we'll see you guys in a bit. So this mess is going to have to wait. I'll bring this. Both my ponies are in here. And empty it. No, that's sad because then honey gets... I have to see the hurt look on honey. <laughs> Sophie does not like to see a hurt look on a pony's face when she chooses one over the other.